Nick, welcome. There's so many things that you want to happen this year, but there's got to be a, a number one. Is there something you want to happen more than anything else? I just want to see our, our team play up to their full potential, you know, and I, and I think if we do that, then we're going to accomplish some good things. I think that uh, the people are in place to do that, uh, the coaching staff, the players, the, the way we've recruited, the expectations of the program. So um, I think if, if we, we look back and we, we play good football and, and we maximize our potential, um, I think we can have a really good year. I really do. I think that we, we've talked about it, what the expectations are of the program, what the standards are, and that's competing for a Missouri Valley Conference championship. You do that, you put yourself into accomplishing a lot of goals. You're, you're going to make the playoffs, you put yourself in that hunt, and then you put yourself in the tournament to win a national championship. And those are the three things that are at the, the top of our standards. It's playoff berth, a conference championship, and ultimately a national championship. So um, I'm excited to get this season going. I'm excited about this group. Every year is different, but uh, I'm really excited about this group. Don't you feel you had the best defense that Southern's had since it made the playoffs last in 09? I think so, but you know, <laughs> when you sit here and it's uh, you got 11 games to go and you haven't haven't proven anything really on uh, it's all um, you know what ifs and everybody's excited right now. Every team going into the year is excited. So now we got to go out there and and do it and prove it. So. I think we have the opportunity to be, um, you know, seeing the guys and the way they work. There's still some some question marks and some people that haven't played and proven themselves yet that have the opportunity to do that. But I do. I think year three with Coach Paulson, the way that we've developed and played young players and uh, just seeing how great defenses are experienced. Obviously, they have the athletes and the athleticism and the playmakers over there, which I feel like we have. But it's also about playing smart. It's not always about – playing hard and with great effort that that is the, fir the the first thing that you have to do but then you got to be smart football players and you got to be in the right spots and, and you got to play together and you, you got to overcome adversity and so um, I think that our, our group of de the defensive group has an opportunity to be pretty special you're back to calling plays on offense is that significant well I've always been an offensive guy you know I've always mm -hmm. set in on on offensive game planning the first year uh, John and I kind of co-called it, which is different than just completely calling it when you're just an offensive coordinator and that's all you have to worry about. So this will be the first time as a head coach that I've, I'm back as being the offensive coordinator, which running the offensive meetings, mm -hmm. the quarterback meetings. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I, I really enjoy that part of the game. I've, I've missed that part of really sitting in on individual meetings. And I think to be a great play caller, you got to dive yourself in it. You, you've got to be scripting plays and practice. Uh, you got to be sitting in there, you know, every day with the quarterbacks and knowing what they like, what they don't like. It's hard to just have a um, step back approach at practice or within, you know, the practice settings and then try to go call a great game on Saturday. So I'm excited about getting back out there. You know, having an experienced guy on the defensive side like Coach Paulson that you really trust helps in that, uh, making that type of decision. So um, looking forward to it and, and feel like it was best for the team. Is quarterback Sam Straub poised for a big year? I think so. You know, he's he, we, we have a lot of weapons around him. Every quarterback that has a great year or, or – um, you look back and people around to make plays. And um, I feel like we have weapons on the outside. We have a couple good tight ends. We have a fullback. We're able to get in and out of uh, personnel and, and do some things that fit his strengths. Uh, he's obviously got to stay healthy, and I think that we have to be able to run the football. I think whenever you, you think of teams that are, we're not just going to get wide open and just throw it every down. You know, I think you, you put yourself – at a position to take sacks and and so we're going to run the football and um, if you do that then then you know some of the strengths of saying play action pass big arm pushing the ball down the field you're able to do some things like that this should be your best team simply put i think so and i think whenever you when you look at when you take a program over you should hope that you know in year three and mm -hmm. once you get get going you should have some of your best teams there's always going to be transition and you lose good seniors and you look you lose good players but we felt really confident in the way that we've recruited the past two years and now those guys have really been able to develop and be in your program and should be your best players now we have some you know 14 seniors that have been here um, I'm excited about those guys that came in Sam Straub and Josh Podjolinski and Darrell James and those guys that have stuck through and and uh, 
and had a great Saluki career that will really lead us as well. And uh, so I, I'm excited about this group. And, and like I said, we've got to go out there and prove it. It starts Thursday the 30th at Murray at Saluki coach Nick Hill.